Headmistress Geeta Ma'am, our dear grandparents, parents, and my dear friends. It is my pleasant duty to welcome you all in this occasion. Our today's sir does not need any introduction. He is Dr. Guruji, the guiding light of our school. We welcome you, sir. I welcome Principal Kavita Ma'am, Headmistress Geeta Ma'am, and all other teachers. I welcome our dear grandparents who have consented to come here and grace this occasion. to be with all of you today. We take out um, the inner core of the teachings of our Guruji. He said that in the 21st century, academic excellence alone is not enough. Then what is required? He said that there has to be attitudinal changes in the mankind as a whole. To make these attitudinal changes, one of the most important things he mentioned was that what is lacking in the society today is human values. What are these human values? Compassion. Sharing and caring for others. Friendliness. Forgiveness. Respecting the elders. And today we are here, as the last paper I said earlier, Respecting the elders. You know, when we start teaching the students here, we say, we say after them, who is the first guru? The first teacher. The first teacher is God, the Divine. And who is the second teacher? The parents. Who is the third teacher? The school teacher. And today, we are honoring the teacher's teacher, the grandparents. So that's a very unique vocation for all of us. There is, when I say that parents' parents, is a teacher, and they are part of the divine, the connectedness with the Divine traditionally is being handed over from one child to the grandchild and so on. And parents are not only just give love, their love is unconditional. And that's the most important value amongst the parental love. And today we are honoring that as well as grandparents. 
again. Words are beyond me to express all that I would love to come with you, except to say that uh, we are all so honored that you've taken the trouble to be here in the school and to be with your grandchildren or your own child. I thank you very much for your that this, uh, this attitude and your action to have come here today. I welcome all of you and thank you very much. Thank you, thank you sir. Now, my friend Vaishnav of Class 5B will say a few words to our grandparents. Jai Gurudev, respected Suresh sir, Principal Kavita ma'am, Headmistress Geeta ma'am, teachers, parents, grandparents and my dear friends. As someone rightly said, God made grandparents to do his job when he was busy. Grandparents are always there, ready to come to your help and guide you, pick you up when you fall down, kiss and blow away all your troubles. Their love is like the wings of a guardian angel, always there, waiting, ready to come to your aid when you need them. Grandparents have been made especially to be there for their grandchildren. Only they can, with their infinite patience, explain again and again the answer to any silly question that you may ask. They have the special capacity to shed their age and become children again, to play with us, understand our troubles and anxieties, and help us to face and solve them. It is said that grandparents hold our little hands for a short while, but touch our hearts forever. We have such a lot to thank them for. We have to thank them for so many things that it would take, that it would take forever to just list them down. I thank them for, I thank them again from the bottom of our hearts for being there. I thank them especially for giving us such wonderful parents who along with you have made our lives so beautiful. There is nothing in this world which can be offered in return for your love and care. We can only promise to keep all you have taught us in our hearts forever. We promise that we will work hard to make you proud of us. We offer a million, billion, no, a trillion pronouns at your feet. We pray for your good health and continued long life and also pray that all your wishes, even the tiniest of them, come true. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Vaishnav. My friends will now present a Thiruvadri. 